hey, y'all, don't let this happen to you like it happened to me when I solved this the first time. Uh, this is a, a isothermal irreversible expansion of an ideal gas, perfect gas against zero external pressure. Uh, this is this is part two of a video, previous video where I did the, the thermal uh, isothermal reversible expansion. If we see isothermal, isothermal means that temperature is constant. Temperature is constant, so for our first law, du equals dq plus dw. Temperature is constant, so the change in internal energy is zero. Uh, e transfer equals negative dw, and then dw is negative pdv. And if this is irreversible, then this p here, this p here, is the external pressure if the work is irreversible. This is the external pressure. Well, this is zero external pressure. We want to make this zero. That means this this is zero. So there's no heat transfer. So dq equals zero. And the thermodynamic definition of entropy, ds equals dq over t. dq is zero, so this is zero. So there's no change in entropy uh, for this process. Totally incorrect. <laughs> Uh, it, it looks good, doesn't it? It looks good, but it's it's not right. It's just, it's not right. And the, the problem here is here. It's in this definition, a thermodynamic definition of entropy. This is only true for a reversible process. This is only true if it's reversible. This is irreversible, so we can't use that equation. Uh, we can't use this stuff. All we can say for an irreversible process, irreversible, is that ds is greater than dq over t for this, this some irreversible path. For a reversible path, it's equal to zero. This is just saying for an irreversible path, it's got to be greater than zero. We say greater than or equal to, but really it's got to be greater than if it's irreversible. Um, so that doesn't really help us to be greater than zero. It could be any number greater than zero. Uh, so what we need to do is define a reversible path that's equal to this irreversible path. So if we have like some initial state, right? You got some initial state here, some initial entropy, just hanging out, having fun. And then you have some final state and we can get there reversibly, a reversible path, isothermal reversible expansion, or we can go to this from the same initial to the final state using some crazy path who knows, some crazy irreversible path uh, to get there. Uh, but as long as you're, you're at the same initial and final state, then the change in entropy between these two processes are the same. Previously, we luckily, we just found out what the reversible process is from initial to final for an isothermal reversible expansion. And it doesn't matter if it's against zero pressure uh, because we're gonna end off in the same initial and final state because it's isothermal. Uh, and that is, I'm just going up, this is from the previous video, right here. So the change in S equals NR ln V final over V initial. So change in S reversible is equal to, what was it? NR ln V final divided by V initial. Check out the other video if you want to see how I got that. And that's the same for this, this irreversible path. So the change in entropy for the irreversible path equals nr ln v final over v initial. This is because entropy is a state function, so we can say that. Uh, and this is our, this is how we calculate it. There we go. Uh, if we want to know the change in entropy of the system, sorry, of the of the surroundings, we just did the system of the surroundings. Well, now we can. This whole reasoning applies because for a reversible and an irreversible process, the change in entropy of the surroundings equals the heat transfer to the surroundings or from the surroundings over zero or over temperature. This is a zero, so that means there's no change in entropy of the surroundings. That's zero. And that makes total sense. Like imagine you have this container here, right? And you have like this divider and you have a bunch of gas in here or something like that, molecules, uh, I don't know. And then you open this up. There's, there's nothing in here. This is a vacuum. And after we open this up, then these molecules just kind of spread out here. The system is getting bigger, right? It is expanding. We have this expansion. There's changes in the system, but the surroundings, everything around here, nothing's changing. So the cha there's no change in entropy. We're not. We don't have heat transfer. We're not pushing the molecules, doing work or anything like that. So it's zero. Uh, so if the change in surroundings is zero, then the change in entropy total 
uh, is equal to the change in entropy of the system plus the change in entropy of the surroundings. Well, this is zero, so the change in entropy total has to be nr ln v final over v initial. I hope you liked that. If you like this video, just give a like or not, but if you do, it just motivates me to make more videos. Um, cheers.